In this video, I'm sharing a lot of chock full of great information, including 15 of my favorite discoveries in the niche world of perfumery. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about fragrances that I discovered over maybe the last 13 to 12 months, some of these even lesser. These are going to be incredible niche brands. This is part seven, really, of the best niche brands of the world, but this time around, the best hidden gem niche brands of the world that you, for sure, I'd say, 80% of you watching this video are not familiar. We have never heard of some of these brands. So stick around, the video's up next. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte here. Today we're covering 15 of my favorite discoveries in the past year or so. These are fragrance brands and fragrances that you probably have not heard of. But before I get into it, I wanna give you guys a quick update on a couple of things. First things first, uh, the Navitus slash Scent Explore collaboration should be live by the time you're watching this video. I believe today is November 17th. So this was the last mod I shared with you and I promised that in this video, I was gonna share with you some of the notes that constructed this fragrance. So basically this fragrance should have gone live on the Navitus Parfums website. If you have signed up for the newsletter, you should have gotten that email which pointed you to the website which gives you all the information, the name of the fragrance, the notes, the perfumer, some of the things that I shared here on the channel, but I'm gonna share with you the trifecta or the triangle of this fragrance. The main notes of this fragrance are going to be single malt, which is the whiskey note that I love, that single malt intoxicating aroma that just has you at hello, with two of my top wow factor notes at the base, which is tobacco and of course the leather. Combine those three notes uh, and add some other elements like lavender. You know, really you have to go to the website to check out more, but this particular fragrance is an incredible um, wow factor scent. This has every single note I love, including honey, uh, lavender, green notes, like vetiver. It is a beast of a fragrance long lasting and one that will make you just stand out and will give you that feeling of accomplishment when you're wearing this fragrance. Uh, the name of the fragrance actually is Xenial, which means um, well accepted and you know camaraderie and belonging and which is exactly what Scent Explore means to me when I think about Scent Explore, which is an event that's very you know warm and welcoming. That's exactly what this fragrance is about. So guys, check out details in the description of this video. By the time I'm shooting this, it has not gone live yet, but today, the time you're watching this video is November 17th, so this is probably live at the website. Details, link below, check it out. It's limited edition. I know there's only, you know, a few of these fragrances that are gonna come out for the, for the event, for Scent Explore, but once they're gone, they're gone, they'll never come back, I promise you. This was a, something that we wanted to put together exclusively to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Scent Explore. So all details below, enjoy. That's all the updates on Xenial Scent Explore slash Navitus collaboration. On with this video, 15 incredible discoveries of mine kicking off the list here from this brand, also at Scent Explore. Brand from Romania, this is Tuscovat, the fragrance Pining Dew 2. Now this is going to be a very intricate kind of a fragrance, one that I'm hard pressed to say that I have never tried anything quite amazing as this. This is piney, there's a pineapple, smoky, resinous pineapple note here. Trust me, nothing to do with Aventus. I know every time we talk a pineapple note, everybody automatically, oh, Creed Aventus, clone, dupe. No, this is its own thing. It's a green, smoky pineapple that's spicy and warm. Just an amazing composition. Some of the other notes here are going to be lavender, pepper, resins. Just a very intriguing uh, fragrance and a very intriguing brand. I, I want to tell you guys and bring your attention to Toscavat from Romania, which is again one of my favorite discoveries. They are extremely creative and really pushes the boundaries. Next up, we're gonna talk about an American brand that I'm really in love with. I shared um, a couple of different fragrances over the last few months here on the channel that I loved about this brand. This is an American brand, and this is going to be Blocky, and the fragrance is This Grand Affair. Now, This Grand Affair to me is, to put it mildly, a niche version of Chanel Number no. 5. So it's a Chypra, a little bit aldehylic, musk, lavender, patchouli, divana are some of the other notes here. This is going to have, if you're familiar with Chanel number no. five, it's gonna be familiar with that fragrance, but it modernizes it with some of the notes that I just talked about. It's creamy, it's spice, I believe there's sandalwood here in the base as well. Uh, very well put together, it's gonna to make you stand out in a very classy way. I think the perfect way to talk about this one, it's a very, very classy scent. Next up, we have a brand from Poland. It's going to be Boho Boko and the fragrance Alabanum Gardenia. This is a very nice fragrance, very chic, very modern. I love the combination of notes here. This is a woody spicy with coconut, frankincense, sandalwood, vetiver, and cedarwood. Um, 
Very, very intriguing, very different. Again, all the fragrances I'm sharing with you in this video, this part seven of the best niche brands of the world, I think these brands have tremendous potential, some of these, and I am so glad to have discovered them, including Boho Boko from Poland. Check out Olibanum Gardenia, my current favorite from their line. They have some other ones that I love. I believe there's a cherry liqueur one that's, you know, it puts lost cherry from Tom Ford to shame. This one here, if you like coconut, if you like incense, resins, and spices, will really have you at hello. If you love a good gourmand fragrance, I'm gonna put you onto this fragrance here. It's called Khalil, and it's from the brand of Noem Paris. This is caramel, iris, vetiver, spices, resins, vanilla. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, you know, vanillic, gourmandy, caramel, sweet, spicy, with that iris note, which I love, which is my favorite flavor, uh, you know, flower uh, kind of a note. It is just an incredible fragrance, guys. Noem Paris, which is a brand that I highly suggest and recommend you guys discovering. And this particular one, Khalil, for those who have a sweet tooth, will absolutely fall in love with this one. Next up, I wanna to talk to you guys about a brand that, you know, a lot of people talk about two fragrances of this brand. And I have to tell you, I have to point out to you that they have a lot more than what you see. And the brand I'm talking about is Gisada from Switzerland. And most people here on YouTube or social media will talk about Ambassador uh, and Ambassador Intense, I believe is the other one. But I've tried a lot of fragrances that they have, and this one here happens to be one of my favorites right now that I discovered over the last couple of months. I've been wearing it a lot. I wanted to share with you, it's Giuseppe Switzerland's Royal. Beautiful presentation, green velvet in the base, uh, magnetic cap. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, get this, a spicier, leatherier version of Oud Wood from Tom Ford. So if you love Oud Wood from Tom Ford, which is a little dry, woody dry and spicy, but you wanted something a little bit more transition, a little more complex. If Tom Ford released, just like they did um, Tobacco Vanille, they have Tobacco Oud. Think about it, if they released a, you know, Oud Leather or a Leather Oud kind of a composition, this is what this would be. Exactly like Oud Wood, the main structure of the fragrance, with a gorgeous leather, some vanilla, some iris here, some vetiver. Very complex, smells amazing, insane for compliments. Try Royal from Gisada. I'm telling you, one of my secret weapons this, this year, it's gonna definitely make my top winter niche of 2023 slash 24. Loving this stuff. Has this, this green kind of a component to it, spice, it's resinous. It is a bomb of a fragrance. Long lasting, powerful projection. Loving this stuff, guys. Glad to share with you today. From the house of Pentium Roma, this is an Italian brand, and this is called Raffaello. Raffaello is a great, Boozy Gourmand, it has a note of absinthe up top, which is, again, uh, a very nice boozy green scent. Some of the other notes here are going to be teak wood, leather, and pepper. So it's a boozy, leathery, and spicy kind of a fragrance. Definitely has a gourmand side to it, but I love that leathery booziness that you get up front. Raffaello, one of my greatest discoveries. Very, very, you know, big potential to making a lot of lists for me this year. Great for compliments as well. Glad to share with you, if you love Tonka, leather, vanilla, woods, and spices, and the, the booziness that I talked about, you're gonna love Raffaello. I think right now it's probably my favorite from this line, and it's a line from Italy that I highly recommend again, you guys get your nose on. From the house of Merchant of Venice, which is another Italian house, you know how much I love my tobacco-based scents. This is going to be a dried fruits, uh, gourmand, spicy, tobacco kind of a scent. Reminiscent of Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford, which by the way, these days have been reformulated. It's not really good in performance. This one here will blow your mind. It's called Arabesque. It's a spicier, more resinous uh, version of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. That's tobacco, this is right here is Tobacco Vanille to the next level. I'm loving this fragrance. I think this made my top fall uh, niche of 2023. And it's one that I wear a lot. My wife loves the way this smells. This gets a lot of compliments from me. The bottles look incredible. They're works of arts. And this particular brand from Italy, Merchant of Venice, I think they were at Synth Explorer last year. That's when I discovered them. So a little less than a year ago. I'm highly recommending you guys try this brand. There's gonna be a lot of fragrances that you're gonna love, including Arabesque. This next one I discovered last year and it made my favorite top discoveries of 2022. Uh, also discovered them at Synth Explorer. And this is going to be Monarch. The brand is Virtus from Paris. Love the bottles, incredible, beautiful glass bottles, magnetic strip, uh, magnetic cap as well. Sprayers are not great, could be better, but the scent itself will blow your mind. If you love a good fruity vetiver, this is incredible. But not just that, you have a leathery facet, some resins here, it's a little bit spicy, a little bit incense-y, there's frankincense. Something about this fragrance, it is just one of those captivating scents that you just can't get enough. I'm telling you, Monarch, from everything here is one of those scents that when I wear, 
I just love the way I smell. There's almost this nutty, you know, facet to the fragrance. It's resin, it's a little bit spicy, a little bit smoky. Like I said, there's something about it that's just captivating and very unique to this particular fragrance. Monarch from Virtus. Try this fragrance, guys. Come back here and thank me later. It is one of those just hidden gem fragrances that when you discover, you're like, wow, what is this scent? I can't get enough and people around you will not get enough either. Incredible stuff. There is a fragrance this year. They got a ton of limelight. People talked about it, made a lot of, uh, you know, top lists, including myself. Spring and summer was one of my, my go-to fragrances this year. The fragrance I'm talking about is Vibrato from Sospiro. This one here is going to be a spicier and woodier version of Vibrato. I think Vibrato sometimes has this floral aspect that a lot of people don't like it, especially guys. They think it leans a little bit more feminine. I don't think so. I love Vibrato. But if you wanted something woodier and spicier, this one here, Arhakis from the House of Spirit of Kings would be your fix. If you, like I said, if you didn't like vibrato or you wanted vibrato to be a little bit more woodier and spicier, more masculine, manly, Arhakis will be your fix. This is fruity, it's ambery, it's spicy, along with that profile, that vibrato, that, that, that experience that you get with vibrato that's just great for compliment, very, very, you know, um, inviting, very compelling. This one here is gonna have all of that plus woodier, vetiver, cedar, along with spices, uh, spicier uh, components that you don't get with vibrato. Love this stuff here. I think it made some top lists for me this year and I'm glad to share with you. I discovered this earlier this year and it is definitely one of my favorites from the line of Spirit of Kings. Now here's a brand that I discovered a while ago. I wanna say maybe three, four years ago, but this particular one is one that I discovered recently and I'm glad to share with you. I'm so glad to have revisited this brand. This is a brand from Paris. It's called The Gate Paris. The fragrance itself is called Memories. Not many people at all talk about this fragrance. And as we know with fragrance, because we use our limbic system in our brains and it's also correlated to memories and emotions. So I thought that the name was very fitting here to this fragrance. Memories is going to be this, oh, this is so, this is incredible. Mouthwatering good. Get the notes here guys. If you, if you like the notes you're gonna hear, just picture how good this damn thing smells. Tobacco, cherry, resins, maple sap. It is just intoxicating good. Intoxicating is, is putting it lightly. The tonka beans, the maple sap, the vetiver here in the base, all the com combination of notes here are amazing. This is one that I'm gonna be wearing a lot, the cherry pipe tobacco up top. It's not like any tobacco you've tried. This is very unique. Again, with a collection so large, sometimes you miss out on those hidden jams. This is a hidden gem that I'm glad to share with you guys today. Cherry pipe tobacco, maple sap, tonka, vanilla, vetiver. You could potentially wear this all year long if you control the sprayers, but I think this is definitely more conducive of cooler weather or romantic settings. It is that type of a scent, guys. Don't snooze on this brand, and especially try memories. You're gonna come back here and thank me, I promise you. Let me give you some updates here, a couple updates. Number one, the Scent Explore gift box. There aren't any left, as I told you guys here on the channel. The, the last of the boxes were depleted on Halloween, on, on October 31st, and then we extended until, uh, I believe, the first weekend in November, and then they were totally gone. There's no, no more boxes to be had, so they are being shipped as we speak. You know, the hundreds, you know, 2,000 plus boxes have been shipped worldwide at this point. People have started to receive them, and you know, you'll be receiving yours if you haven't already. So that's the update on the boxes as far as Scent Explore tickets. Uh, we're pretty much at capacity when it comes to in-person. There's nothing else. It's all gone. You know, the after party, the in-person activations, it is all full. However, great news. We do have still a few hundred available tickets virtually. If you want to enjoy Scent Explore, if you can't come to New York, if you can't travel, it's the perfect way to enjoy the niche world of perfumery through the ScentExplore.com um, you know, partner, v Fairs, which manages our platform, which will be able to experience everything, the master classes, the workshops, you're gonna be able to interact with brands and the hosts that'll be hosting in Spanish and Portuguese and in English. Again, all details at ScentExplore.com. You can come virtually. You're going to be able to partake in all the giveaways, including the bottles, everything shipped straight to your door. The only thing is, again, we don't have any more gift boxes, but you can still join Scent Explore, enjoy the event itself, and all the giveaways that we still have, you know, at the event itself, all the activations, everything. Check out the program, the schedule at scentexplore.com, and I truly hope to see you there, of course, in person and virtually, guys. It's gonna be one for the books, this is fifth annual. We're expecting five to 6,000 people to join us this year between in person and virtually. Don't miss out. As far as, uh, you know, codes and savings. Of course, you can try all fragrances that I talked about here in this video at perfume.com. 
the best place to try before you buy. You can use my code MAX12 and enjoy 12% off site-wide. The fragrances and the codes will be listed for you, of course, to make your life easier. And one last thing, Max Aroma, back to Scent Explorer. There's a code right now, Scent Max. If you spend $250 or more at Max Aroma, you can use this code to get free tickets to Scent Explore plus a $40 gift card on top of it. So details below guys, enjoy, it's not gonna last long. I believe it's gonna end by Black Friday, then there's gonna be new codes and new uh, activations for Max Aroma, which of course I'll share with you, but this one here is pertinent to Scent Explore. You spend 250 or more, use the code Scent Max, automatically get free tickets to Scent Explore virtually plus $40 gift gift card back to you and I think even a scent, scent, you know, a discovery kit of samples of sorts that they're going to be giving you as well. So guys, don't miss out. Details below. All the codes, savings, making your life easier. Let's continue the countdown here. Next up, I want to talk about a brand from New York, which is definitely one of my favorite discoveries this year. And we had a podcast with this gentleman, uh, Luke Solomon, uh, through Max Aroma. I'm going to have that link below if you guys missed out uh, this particular podcast. The fragrance itself is called Oud People, the brand The Elemental. I love the brand. Um, just an incredible, incredible Oud fragrance with sandalwood, uh, frankincense, chocolate, uh, vanilla, tonka, vetiver. This is a wood this is a oud fragrance for those people that are afraid of oud fragrances. It's not going to be animalistic or medicinal or hard to wear. Quite the contrary, it's going to be one of those gourmand oud fragrances. The dark chocolate here is amazing. It's going to make you smell delectable. People are going to want to eat you up. It's that simple. This is going to be my secret weapon for Valentine's Day this year coming up in 2024. Highly recommend you guys checking out the brand of um, The Elemental and exclusively, of course, Oud people. If you do love the note of oud, you're going to love this one. If you don't love oud particularly, but you love gourmands, you are in for a treat. Next up, another uh, New York brand based brand. This is Palace Grove from the Reserve Extract de Parfum Collection. This is Habibi NYC. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is an incredible oud fragrance. And this is going to be, I wanted to do a couple of ouds here back to back towards the end of this video because I myself don't love animalistic, fecal, barnyardy kind of ouds. I do like ouds as a complimentary, a complimentary note or a supportive note. And I think all the fragrances that, that I'm sharing with you right now with a note of oud are done to perfection. And Palace Grove is such fragrance. We've got notes here of coconut, tonka beans, uh, vetiver, vanilla, cedar, amber, pepper. What an incredible fragrance. Wow, this is just wow. The coconut here with the oud are just incredible. It's a beautiful dance between the coconut, the oud, the pepper, the vanilla, the amber. It's a very intriguing, unique take on oud. I've yet to smell an oud fragrance this good, this aromatic, this easy to wear. I'm telling you right now, it smells amazing. It smells like, like a million bucks. There's this green kind of a feel to it as well, I think, based on the vetiver, the cedar, the woods, the woods that are present here. Palace Grove. Quick way for me to, you know, describe this. This is a woody, spicy amber with a regal feel to the fragrance. You wear this, you're going to feel like a king. Simple as that. Speaking of feeling like a king, this is a brand that has made tremendous strides over the last few months. I see a lot of people talking about it in this particular one, and there's La Tacita de Café, which is a small little cup of coffee, which is the other one that gets a lot of limelight. But this one here, I want to share with you as my favorite right now for the cooler weather. This is Amber Dominicano, Strike de Parfum. This is amazing. This is incredible. Wow, this is just wow. You smell this fragrance, you're gonna be like, I need to have this. I need this in my life. I wanna buy this yesterday. I'm telling you right now, this brand is incredible. This is gonna be one of your favorite discoveries. I'm telling you right now, the brand itself and this fragrance, you heard it here first, Amber Dominicano, Ambra Dominicano, spicy, ambery, fruity, just room filling. Just amazing. This is an amazing fragrance. This is a 10 out of 10 amber. If you love ambers, this is a must have. That simple. So this smells like a to make you understand the smell and why I love it so much. This smells like a Cuba Libre. So this is like Coca-Cola rum. So it's boozy up top, sweet and spicy, just like a Coca-Cola fizzy drink. Then you have spices, honey, resins, and woods in the base. This is a bomb of a fragrance. If you want to be atomic, wear this. If you want people to compliment you and if you want to turn heads, Ember Dominicana will be something that you're going to be really looking forward to wear. Once you smell this, you're going to be like, like, like I said before, I need this in my life. Now, the second to last here is going to be one that's not going to be for the faint of heart. Now, this one here, you really need to love the notes of Oud because most, if not all of their creations are very animalistic, very bold, especially the darker ones. And the bottle's just 
gorgeous. Sandblasted, beautiful, handmade. Now, this brand is from Dubai, from the United Arab Emirates. This is going to be the House of Jewelry, and the, the name of the fragrance itself is going to be Cambodi, which basically is a brand that is, well, the brand is really about resins, frankincense, and oud, and those type of dark, you know, Arabic and Middle Eastern kind of fragrances. Sandblasted, handmade bottle, just a gorgeous bottle with the insignia up top, heavy metal cap. This is not for everyone, guys. It opens up fruity and very, very oudy. Now, the oud here is from Cambodia, which is one of the best ouds you can find. Very resinous, very animalistic. Let me emphasize, very animalistic. If you love a skanky oud, you're gonna love this one. And the thing is this, it opens up skanky, very barnyardy. It's not gonna be for everyone, but it develops beautifully. It's very complex. You know, it's got some incredible notes, such as dried fruits, uh, amber, a little bit of a vanilla, like a dry vanilla bark, so it'll develop beautifully on skin. That animalistic feel that you get from the top will slowly fade away. It's gonna be present, but it's, it's gonna start to take a back seat, and then you're gonna get those dried fruits, those vanillic, woody kind of a components, making it very aromatic, very inviting, but you'll need to get past that animalistic, you know, opening, which really is very, very powerful. So it's not gonna be for everyone, but if you love a very intriguing, natural oud fragrance, the House of Jewelry is something that you must check out. And if you really enjoy powerful and bold oud scents, Cambodi is definitely one that you will fall in love with. And last but not least, I'm gonna share with you the 15th brand here, which is a brand from France called JCB, which I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I highly recommend you guys checking this line and specifically the one I'm about to share with you. This one's called Amour and love the bottle has this um, texture to the to the actual glass here that reminds me of a nice whiskey flask you know a glass flask they would keep on your bar you know that will look great very classy very sophisticated heavy metal cap the sprayers are really really nice you can control depending on how hard you push but the smell itself is just absolutely incredible i've yet to smell a spicy amber fragrance as good as this one this is like one of my hidden jams i discovered this brand i want to say two and a half years ago, and this has been something that I've been wearing on and off and not really talking much about it as one of my hidden gems. And I revisited this year. I was like, you know what? I need to share it with the people that watch the channel. So this one is called Amour, and it's a lovely, lovely scent. I love this, it has a note of grape. Uh, so the fruit grape along with amber, spices, resins. This is a spicy amber fragrance. It is also very aromatic and a little bit woody and resinous in the base as it dries down just a stunning of a fragrance. If you haven't tried JCB, start here if you like, you know, darker, spicier, and woodier scents, resinous scents, you're gonna love this one here, Amour from the house of JCB. So there you have it guys, 15 incredible hidden gem fragrances that perhaps you've never heard about. So check these out, linked below, you can try them, you can sample them, and of course, I can't wait to see you guys at Scent Explorer in about a couple of weeks, December 1st and 2nd, details below. Don't miss out, if anything, Register virtually so you guys can enjoy the event and also take part in all the giveaways uh, of Synth Explorer 2023 5th Annual. Thank you so much for your support, guys. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys right back here with another video very soon. <music>